also said before, uh, today we are going to talk about performance appraisal and uh, feedback. Uh, we are going to discuss some, what is the purpose of performance management or what is the purpose of having feedback from your employees and how this can improve your uh, company's success or your organizational success. Improving management and performance into the workplace. Some of the things that we are going to discuss today in today's presentation are uh, some introduction about both uh, performance appraisal or performance management and also feedback. Uh, we are going to talk about the primary goals such as some types, such as purposes and other things, importance of a pro, uh, performance appraisal and feedback, and we are going to make some summary and then uh, the section of uh, questions and answers. What is the meaning of performance appraisal and feedback? A performance appraisal is a regular review on an employee's job performance and contribution to a company. Performance appraisals are also called annual reviews, uh, performance reviews or evaluations or employee appraisals. So we can call them as we want. Usually there are referred to reviews that are taken on an employee into their uh, product uh, productivity or performance or how they usually manage to do into the workplace or into the organization. Companies use performance appraisals to give employees big picture feedback on their work and to justify pays, pay increases and bonuses as well as termination decisions. What's the purpose of in, uh, performance appraisals? Performance appraisals are usually designed by human resources department as a way for employees to develop into their careers. So the first uh, thing that we think of as a department into a company is that these appraisals or performance management are made not only to uh, help the companies but also to help the employees. They provide individuals with feedback on their job performance, ensuring that employees are managing and meeting the goals expected of them and giving them guidance on, on how to reach those goals if they fall short. Because companies have a limited pool of funds from which to award uh, incentives uh, such as races and bonuses, performance appraisals help determine how to allocate those funds. They provide a way for companies to determine which employees have contributed the most to the company's growth so that companies can reward their top performing employees accordingly. Performance appraisals also help employees and their managers create a plan for employee development through additional training and increased responsibilities, as well as to identify ways that the employee can improve and move forward into their career. Some of uh, the other purposes, as we also talked before, here we're going to see in bullets. First, facilitate employee development. So uh, performance management are usually used to facilitate employee development or to help uh, to push employee development. By assessing deficiencies in performance levels and skills, an organization can determine specific training and development needs. So by seeing these um, employee developments or by having this performance, let's say, tracking, uh, the company may see uh, where is this performance going or where is this uh, productivity level going or the skills. So after analyzing all this productivity and performance, they then know how to approach with the specific training and development needs that every employee needs. Determine rewards and compensation. Uh, it, it is used also to determine some of the most important and influential things into coming into a relationship with your employees, such as salary, promotions, retentions, and bonus decisions, which are based on the data collected as a part of performance me measurement. 
enhance uh, employee motivation. A process that allows for employee acknowledgement and praise can reinforce the motivation levels that are beneficial to the organization. How does this performance uh, management enhance employee motivation? So in this performance management, you not only see for yourself how is the performance of your employees, but you also show them how their performance is. And by giving the feedback to them and taking feedback, you are also trying to influence into their motivation and also self-development that each employee may have because they know that they are being heard, they are reinforced for their actions and they are like being pushed to develop themselves more. Facilitate legal compliance. Claims of unfair dismissal are best supported when the organization has documentation of performance deficiencies. It is very important that for every good or bad uh, appraisal or feedback or performance or productivity deficiencies, we keep on the documentation. So we have all the arguments that are needed or in the case of a good thing or in the case of a bad thing. Facilitate human resource planning process. It is also used to uh, make another uh, plan or processes that may help human resources in the future. Because these plans are usually determined by the human resource department, it is easier for them when they have this kind of tests or assessment uh, based on productivity as well as uh, performance management. Performance data alerts the organization to uh, deficiencies in the overall level and employee skills which is used in planning for future goals. What to evaluate in performance appraisal and management? There are some things that we uh, usually try to evaluate when we try to do some assessment or some tests based on performance appraisal or based on productivity into the workplace. Here we're going to see four of them. Uh, they're usually traits-based, behavior-based, outcomes-based and competency-based. In the traits based, we refer to uh, measures uh, focus on the general abilities and characteristics of the employee, like loyalty in the organization, for example, or how uh, this, how loyal this is, uh, this employee is to your organization. They are of limited use as they ignore what the employee actually does. This is something that is not commonly used because it, um, also we see what are we going to measure, for example, and that's why uh, we divide them what are uh, the ones that are like uh, ultimate use and what are some that are in limited use. Uh, behavior based. They focus on what an employee does by examining specific behaviors of the employee. Factors that are evaluated into the behavior based assessments are empl employees' punctuality, willingness to take initiative, and ability to meet deadlines. Outcomes based. Results based measures focus on specific achievements or direct outcomes of an employee's work. These are sort to be one of the most meaningful measures. And uh, the last one, competency-based. They focus on evaluating employees on the skills that have been determined according to the organizational strategic objectives. The competencies include things such as uh, flexible and adaptive to change, able to cope up with stress, customer service-minded, team builder, and creative thinking and open-minded. These are some of the things that we usually evaluate in performance appraisal and productivity. Maybe you have uh, now uh, a question to yourself or maybe later to me, do we make this uh, evaluation before we try to, uh, to hire an employee? 
and also in the beginning. We can make these uh, evaluations uh, through all of the year, also before, also in the beginning, also in the middle, also into the end or near the end. This uh, evaluation brings us into a new perception that we need to have about this employee. So what kind of things he, the employee is giving to the company and how uh, also what are we as uh, employers or as organizations are giving into this employee. Times, uh, types of performance appraisals. Uh, we have uh, the self-assessment, we have the peer assessment, we have the 360-degree feedback assessment and negotiated appraisal. These are some of the most common types that are used from the HR department into evaluating the performance appraisal. We start from the first, self-assessment. Individuals rate their job performance and behavior. So usually this can be done for, uh, depending on a quiz, for example, on or into different uh, cases. But usually from my experience, I would say that the self-assessment is like a sheet when they have uh, some questions written and they see and rate their performance and behavior. On the other hand, when they take this self-assessment, it is good that they that you also take the peer assessment. An individual's work group or co-workers rate their performance. So in peer assessment, when you are going to evaluate one worker's assessment, you are also going to do the peer assessment so you have a comparison of both of them. So you have how you see yourself and how others see you. This is like a representation of of these two assessments. 360 degree feedback assessment includes input from an individual, supervisor and peers. So in a 360 degree, sorry, 360 degree feedback assessment, you have an assessment or a feedback onto your performance from all of the environment that uh, you are socialized into the workplace. This in may include the individual that you are yourself, your manager, your supervisor, and also your co-workers. Negotiated appraisal. This is a newer trend uh, that utilizes a mediator and attempts to moderate the adverse nature of performance evaluations by allowing the subject to present first. It also focuses on what the individual is going right before any criticism is given. This structure tends to be useful during conflicts between subordinates and supervisors. So uh, as from its uh, name, it's like a negotiated appraisal or like, um, let's say like a case when you see also the both sides or let's say a um, mixed type of all of the three that we talked before. Some of the benefits, what are the benefits of performance appraisal? When executed correctly, performance appraisals can pay off significantly. What does that mean? Among other things, they are capable of boosting employee morale and engagement, clarifying expectations, helping to get the best out of the staff and incentivizing hard work and dedication. So when used correctly, this means that there are a lot of benefits from performance appraisal. You not only see uh, what the employee brings to you, but you also try to help your employee into their motivation, into their productivity, into their dedication into the workplace and other things. When should a performance appraisal take place? Performance management is an ongoing process. So it can be in the beginning, it can be in the middle or also before the end, as I also said before. Throughout the year, managers are encouraged to engage with employees to establish goals, not progress and provide feedback. Formal reviews or appraisals often take place on a yearly or quarterly basis. 
Why is employee feedback important? Employee feedback is important because when given constructively, it uh, enables ongoing development. So it helps in the development of the company, into the employees, and in all of the workplace environment. It helps identify and remove blockers to reach targets and objectives. Strengthens the uh, relationship between managers and employees, which is very, very important, as well as peer-to-peer -peer or co-workers feedback. Makes employees feel supported into their role. A performance appraisal is a regular review of an employee's job performance and contribution to a company. Performance appraisals are also called annual reviews, performance reviews or evaluations or employee appraisals. Companies use performance appraisals to determine which employees have contributed the most to the company growth, review progress and reward high achieving workers. Although there are many kinds of performance reviews, the most common is the top-down review in which a manager reviews their direct report. Employees who believe that the evaluation's construction isn't reflected in of their company's culture may feel dissatisfied with the appraisal process. This is a summary of what the presentation almost uh, took off and what we uh, discussed. Thank you so much.